So I nearly had my Q330 finished. I've got the props in, plugged it all in, had the, the top on with the KK, and uh, plugged the battery in, and the magic smoke came out. So it doesn't work anymore. I think I need some new SCs. These ones, the um, the Af not the Afros, the multi stars that I flashed with the Simon K. I think these are Optos, and I plugged them in to something that needed some power or something. And anyway, they don't work anymore, so that's boring. So on to the next project. I have the Diatone or HK260, which has got the slightly upturned arms. Got the Sunny Sky 2204 motors. And hang on, in here somewhere. Oh. Some ESCs. The mess is starting to close in on me. So some Afro 12 amp ESCs. And a KK2 there somewhere as well. Yep. KK2. And I've got a board, a power distribution board that I'm going to use in the bottom of here with the KK2 on top of it. See how that goes. Make a start. So I've managed to buy these 2204 Sunny Sky motors off eBay. Um, so I'm sure, I think they cost me uh, about 20 bucks for the four of them, or 24 bucks or something for the four of them delivered. Um, so I'm sure they're the real thing. And this is what they come with. Yep, that's it. The motor. No screws, no anything. <laughs> Guess you get what you pay for. Anyway, we'll see how they go. I always like by to start by putting the, the motors on to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Six inch props. So still a fair bit of play in there, so you could almost almost get seven inch props on this. Still a fair bit of room to the middle as well, so not tried 7 inch props with this size motors before, but anyway, something for the future. So this is how I'll be manning the controller. Just a few spaces. Power board underneath the controller with a screw through the lot and down into the frame on the bottom. And the ESCs, however, I put them on the top of my 250. But there's a sort of little ridge on the top of this frame, so it doesn't really work. So I'll probably place them in this place here, which is sort of designed for them. And uh, push the cables, it's sort of designed to have the cables come back up in here and then straight into the, the power distribution board in under the controller. So it should be pretty neat when it's finished. Another thing I'm going to try on this build is just put in a little bit of um, foam double sided tape to mount the ESC while I'm doing the build, which will hold it in place and gives that little bit of cushioning for when you're putting the cable ties on to hold it in place. Makes for a a nice simpler mounting of the ESC. When I first started working on this centre bit here I thought oh, it's a bit odd. They've left this big gap around the edge. But actually by design it's really good because you can then just run your wire your ESC wires up in under this through this little gap here and straight into the the board which works really really well so what I thought was a bit of an odd design turns out to be an exceptionally good design so there we have it motor cable comes through soldered into the ESC back through the bottom up into the power board signal coming out signal cable coming out the side here that'll be um, XT60 on the end of there so here we have it K2 
FK2 installed. I haven't upgraded the firmware yet. That'll come after we make sure all the motors are going in the right direction. Fortunately, that's the smallest receiver I've got. ECs are all installed. Cables up through the sides. Basically ready to plug it in and see how it goes. No smoke this time. Just need to get the controller. Got my 9x. Just need to make sure that the aileron and elevator and throttle is all correct and and we'll fire up the motors. This is a new record for me after testing the motor directions every single one of them was going the wrong way because I soldered them on directly to the ESCs I just do it and then test it usually there's a few I have to change but on this occasion all four I need to swap two wires over on the ESCs to the motors well back to soldering so we'll try again um, and They're all going around. Going in the right direction. Something's going in the right direction. A bit better. So just gave it a quick little test flight on the floor here and it flies. Needs a bit of tuning, so tomorrow. When the daylight comes, we'll head outside and give it its first test flight.